to many applications from agents of uh, prestigious universities of the U.S. That, that their presidents want to come and to show up on dialogue and to, Absolutely. to, to promote their image. I mean, that's a yet another serious attempt to uh, encourage young Chinese to go to the States. Well, let's cross over to um, Mr. Um, Owen Chiu, senior manager of an international hotel chain. Hello, I believe in the 1960s, uh, many young Chinese, uh, sorry, many young Taiwanese, of course they are Chinese, went to the States for a better education. And uh, now, mo more and more of them seem to be coming back to seek a better job opportunities. Uh, what can we learn from uh, what Taiwan went through in the 1960s and 70s? Okay. Uh, my understanding about um, those uh, Taiwanese people who moved out to other countries before 90s, um, most of them have two major concerns that um, um, you just mentioned earlier. Uh, number one, the concerns about their children's education. Number two, the concerns uh, of uh, seeking for better living environment and more alternative options of different lifestyle. But after 90s, because of the overall business and uh, economy situation, the Taiwan started to change and improve. The entire society was getting more and more open. The mainstream of uh, business model was kind of uh, transforming from labor intensive driven to high tech uh, intensive uh, driven. One of the most famous uh, uh, example is uh, the Xinzhu high tech industry zone. Generally speaking, I would say after 90s in Taiwan, people start to have more options to go for a better lifestyle which start to influence those people, the immigrants, to change their mindset. I would say a better lifestyle than previous is the main incentive to track, attract those people back to their roots in Taiwan. And in fact, Thank we you. have learned a lot from Taiwan. For example, the establishment of uh, incubation to attract uh, successful returned scholars and uh, students to make their investment and run their business. Uh, Okay, thank you very much. That's uh, Owen Chiu from Taiwan. Thank you for being with us. Welcome back to Beijing Studio. Um, <coughs> like in Taiwan, we have also set up many Silicon Valleys and mm -hmm. incubators, as I said earlier, as part of the preferential policies of the government to attract the talented professionals to come back. Um, but, but then why do you think a majority of those who went to the States and Europe refused to come back? And uh, according to the statistics, I, I believe you have a better mm -hmm. idea about mm -hmm. how many of them sure. come back and how many of them refuse to. Uh, well, that's right. I mean, the, particularly the, uh, the people in the, in the uh, science and technology area, that uh, people, for example, who got a PhD in the science and, and, uh, and uh, in, in science PhD, engineering PhD in the United States, five years after the graduation, the remain rate there is about 90% for the Chinese PhD student in the science engineering sectors. Uh, and one of the reasons for them not going coming back, I think for the science engineering student because they feel that the environment, public academic environment is more